All right, we're about to get started. Uh, everyone asked me about computer-assisted navigation. That's this system right here. We took a three-dimensional image of the spine. We have this navigation probe. The camera's up there. And using this probe, I can basically identify exactly where I want to start even before I make the incision. All right, um, the surgery's going very well so far. I'm ready to put the implant in. I already have the retractor, and I've been using navigation to make sure I'm perfectly in the right spot. So I'm gonna put this in, and then slowly expand it. You'll see this thing is like a car jack. The cage in place, I can now turn the wheel and expand the cage. All right, the surgery is um, going really, really well. I already have the cage in. Now, like I promised, I'm gonna look for the arthritic node that um, you're concerned about. So I have the navigation tracking, I'm sorry, the navigation probe inside the wound. And I can just scan back and forth, and I'm looking at a live CT scan right here. And making sure that it's completely open, so I don't see anything there. That is the right side, and it looks totally open, and you can just, I don't know if you can tell, but that implant has raised up that inner body space, and the indirect decompression is tremendous. All right, this is the uh, examination of the left side. So, I know you have a little bit of left-sided pain too, but again, you can just see, I'm scrolling back and forth, I can see everything. And I do not see that bone spur anymore, so I think the indirect decompression is gonna be the way to go. All right, we're putting in the screws now. This is the screwdriver. I already have the screw inside the incision, and this is the navigation tracking frame. And you can look up on the screen now, and you can see that I'm just live imaging with navigation. It's really cheating. But I can see this whole thing going in start to finish like I have the imaging on the whole time. Alright, we're about to put the, draw, uh, the rod down. So the rod's on this inserter and it articulates like this. So I can put it down this little tube above the skin. And then when it's at the bottom, I will just angle it back up. And then through these tubes, we'll put the locking nut down. And then I'll disassemble all this. And that's how the rod is passed through these little incisions without looking directly down there. And that's how I can do this surgery with a small incision. Well done. The surgery went perfectly. The contract looks terrific. And we're all hoping that you get better really, really quickly.